Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are new here, welcome. Just so you know, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot, just so you're aware. I keep seeing this judgment card, so we'll see if it comes out. Um, let's see, judgment is often second chances, but we'll see what comes out. Spirit, how does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? Okay, so we're getting the Three of Cups. Tell me more about how this person feels about Aries. The Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Okay, interesting. I feel like... If you haven't already, I feel like you could meet this person like through a, another person or through like even like a dating app. There's just this aspect of having a lot of fun like the, like and not really um, looking for anything, like being really flirtatious. Something is weighing heavy on this person's mind with that ten of wands. I'm going to pull a card on it. It just feels like it's it's almost like this person wants to say more to you, especially if they do see you at an event or they know you through a friend or something like that. Um, it's like they want to say more, but they're, they're not. <laughs> and it's stressing them out. Um, so, for instance, if you're talking to someone on like a dating app and this person hasn't made a move yet or like asked you out or to like given you you know a sure sign that they're interested it's like this person wants to but is holding back like they're not saying it tell me about this ten of wands please spirit tell me about this ten of wands thank you okay yeah, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aries like yourself, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Like I said, it's like this person wants to communicate with you. There's a lot of passion that they have here for you, but I feel like this person is holding back because um, th there's something that could have happened in the past where they were rejected in some way um, or that they just kind of look at the past past situations that really have nothing to do with you um, where they're like, okay, well, the last time I put myself out there or the last time I said that, you know, that, that bad thing happened. It's like fear here is what I'm getting. Um, you know, the five of cups is, is the card of depression. I, I can't diagnose. I'm not a doctor, but it's just someone who does a lot of ruminating on the past, a lot of, um, you know, sadness I guess you could say even like regret so it's like if this person had an opportunity to say something to you at an earlier time even it's like man like I missed it like it's like this person wants to say something to you they want to communicate with you there's a lot of passion that they have for you here but they're being held back here um yeah I feel like this person is fearful and it has to do with something that's already gone on here not wanting to repeat the past Anything else about that devil card, please, Spirit? I'm also getting, I feel like if you are the type of person where you are very social, have a lot of people around you all the time, I feel like this person um, is quite introverted, and so they wonder if... Um, it, 
basically if you're going to be able to align together is what I'm getting. Like it, they're quite, you know, a, like a homebody, so to speak. And if you're not like that, this person wonders like, will you even like them really? And we're getting the Ace of Cups to clarify the devil further. So yeah, it's like this person is fearful of offering their cup of love, of opening up, of um, starting something new here. It's like they want to, it's stressing them out that they're not, um, but they're also fearful here is what I'm getting. I feel like this person is scared to open up. Yeah. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Aries, please, Spirit? Okay, we're getting the five of pentacles. So another five here. Um, I just feel like there's fear of abandonment here. There's fear of rejection. Like I was saying, I feel like this person doesn't want to get left out in the cold. Um, they don't want to put their all into this or open up and put into this just for it to end. Um, okay, we are getting the star. I do like that Aquarius energy here. Um, tell me more about this star. I feel like this person... The three of wands. Tell me more about the star. It's like this person can see hope in the future. Yeah, they can see hope in the future. They can see like, and it's like the distant future. Like I feel like when they think of themselves in a year from now or 10 years from now or whatever, they're like, okay, I see myself in, um, you know, a, a, something stable or I'm happy. But there's a lot of self-sabotage going on here. I feel like this person, you're getting five of cups, five of pentacles, five of swords. I feel like this person, there's a lot of obstacles in the way right now of this person fully um, being present in the moment, fully opening up. There's just some healing to do basically is what I'm getting. Um, so you could be seeing five, five, five. Also like when my cards start to sync up like that, it's spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life and in their life where it's not just a fling. It's not just like a whatever. It's, um, you know, it's, there's lessons to be learned here. Um, so I feel like this person is fearful of opening up. There's a lot of self-sabotage going on. I, I feel like they feel not good enough. Um, in some way shape or form it's like they they have a lot to say to you but they hold back out of fear um they don't want to be rejected there, there's things that have happened in their past i feel where they um they could have suffered from depression or couldn't still do again i'm not a doctor i can't diagnose but just like getting down on themselves i'm feeling fear of fear of abandonment as well um yeah anything else for this person's action so it's like they think about this <laughs> a lot but Okay, we are getting the Queen of Cups. That's a nice energy to come out. And the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, interesting. So it's like this person, um, I, I, I have to be honest with you here, Aries. It's like, I feel like this person feels more comfortable being single right now. I feel like they feel more comfortable doing their own thing. And again, I feel like it comes from a space of not feeling good enough. Um, there's love here. There's emotion here that they have for you, but they, they, this has nothing to do with you basically. So if you were wondering if you connected with someone, um, and you're wondering, you know, why do they hold back? Or like, well, they make me feel like they don't even want to be around me that much or what have you. It's really not a you thing. It's a them thing. I feel like they're going through some, like they're still healing here. And I mean, we're all healing in some shape or form. Um, that being said, I, I feel like there's, at least some of you out there who are like, you know, I'll still be friends with this person because even though you could see potential for a romantic, there's this idea that like building that friendship first is also important. Um, yeah, it's like, there's just, there's someone in your energy here who can see in the future it working, but right now they're, they're still fearful. There's still things that they're working through. So let's see their intentions. What's this person's intentions with Aries? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. What is this person's intentions with Aries? Oh. Okay. That one just, give me a second. That one just flew across the room, but we're getting the Two of Swords. 
So indecision here. Again, I just feel like this person, um, they're in their head a lot. So they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but there's also Capricorn here, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is just, they're up in their head. They're indecisive here. Um, wounded warrior energy coming out as well. It's just this person is... Let's just see. Tell me more. Whoa. We're getting the tower. Scorpio energy here. Um, tell me more about this person's intentions. It's like this person's like, do I just stay, sit still and, and do nothing and do what I've been doing and kind of sit back and whatever? Or do I like change things up here? right? Like they're, they're kind of sitting on the fence right now. Like, okay, I can see the future. I can see me being vulnerable, see me opening up and it, it looking one way. And I can see just sitting here in my comfort zone and it looking that way. Um, it looks like this person is, I mean, let's, let's clarify this tower. Tell me more. Yeah. It's like this person wants to go after what will make them happy even seeing the lovers at the bottom here it's like they they want to to have their wish fulfilled which i feel like is going after you but then they, they're very protective of self it's like they'll it's like getting ready to jump out of the airplane but then being like no no no, no wait wait what if all these 10 things could go wrong and the person in the airplane is like but we already went over this like you already knew the risks we're already up here and they're like okay wait, wait, wait. and then they'll go to do it again and they'll be like wait wait wait, and they'll hold back like that's the like that's the image i'm getting right now like this just like back and forth um and i mean jumping out of an airplane is obviously different than jumping into a relationship but i feel like this person feels that much hesitancy of like whoa like this is a big deal like if i open up if i say what i want to feel or sorry say how i feel um it, it's it's that big of a deal right so that's just that's just what i'm getting here let's see the potential outcome because I mean, I feel like this could go either way, but we'll see. What's the potential outcome here between Aries and this person, please, Spirit? Okay, so we're getting the Six of Wands. I am being drawn to the other deck, so I will. Usually when I go to the other deck, it's because there's cards on the board that need to come out again, but we'll see. Tell me about this potential outcome between Aries and this person, please, Spirit. I mean, the Six of Wands is victory, right? Oof, and we're getting the Empress. Beautiful. Tell me more about the potential outcome here. Oh, I don't know. I hope you saw that. That was the Emperor trying to flip there. I, I, it flipped back in, but I'm going to keep going. Tell me more about the potential outcome, please, Spirit. Okay. Interesting. You're getting the same energy. So you're getting the tower again, the nine of pentacles again, the knight of pentacles, the king of cups, and there's the emperor. Wow. Aries. Okay. Yeah. So there's definitely going to be a tower moment here and, and tower moments. So Scorpio, Aries energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. Hold on. I just need to take this in. There's going to be victory here. It's going to be like a slow a slow build but i feel like this person's going to finally be like step out of whatever is holding them back you're getting the emperor and the empress here you're getting a divine match here the divine masculine the divine feminine so whichever you identify with um they're depicted as male and female but we all have masculine feminine energies so it's like this person they see you as it that's the thing like there's this is a divine match. It's like you bring balance to each other. It's like there's there's no denying this kind of connection here. There's a lot of love here. You're getting, you know, the Queen of Cups was in their actions. Now you're getting the King of Cups in uh, the potential. So there's two matches here already. There's the towers coming out again. This is going to be out of nowhere, unexpected change, but it's like needed change, right? With the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, still maintaining independence here and um being able to still stay true to self but also coming together with someone who just it just feels right oh and i can't help but see the two cups at the bottom there it just feels right here like there's just no other way to put it and i feel like that's why this person is like okay i just need to jump out of that airplane so to speak um yeah there's victory here i feel like the two of you are going to come together in a way that it just feels easy. It feels, yeah, once this person gets past that fear, and again, Aries, you could feel like this is you. You could feel like you, you're 
you know, managing healing from the past. We're all healing in some capacity here. Um, I feel like it comes together and it's just like a very beautiful union here. Like this is, yeah, this is quite impactful here. Again, the king and queen of cups, like there's a lot of love here. It's just, yeah, this person, the, the independence part is really sticking out for me because like I said, the nine of pentacles is coming out twice. I just feel like this person's need to remain independent and not, you know, be um, in a relationship where it's like all we do is hang out with each other and like we're just we lose sight of um, our responsibilities or our friendships or whatever. Like it's like, they're, they're like, I feel like they've done that before and um, they don't want to do that. That could also be you Aries. So this is a very balanced, like I'm getting like temperance, like Sagittarius energy here, very balanced energy here, but there's like expect the unexpected here. Um, Aries. Yeah. This is quite beautiful. I almost like, yeah. Wow. Wow. Also, if I could see children involved. So if you already have a child or children or this person does, I feel like there's a coming together of worlds here. Um, I feel like this person would say if you have a child, this person will fully embrace that child. Um, there's just a really a sense of harmony here. Yeah. Wow. I almost just want to like sit here and soak in the energy because it it's like very it's 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 like a breakthrough. It's like this person um they it, it just happens. Like they they're in, indecisive like I said trying to like they're on the fence almost jumping out of that plane whatever, and then it's like as soon as they do it it's exhilarating and it just feels perfect and it's like why didn't I do this sooner? That's what I'm getting. Wow. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see what else comes out here for Aries, please, Spirit. Any messages for Aries, please? Thank you. Oof! Aries. <laughs> wow. So the number three there too, you could be seeing threes. I feel like this is a, a, a connection protected by the divine, but also, like I said, if there is one child involved, whether you have one child or they have one child, I really feel like the three of you really come together here. It's just, oh my goodness. I don't want to waste your time, but I just want to sit here and look at the cards and take in the energy because it just feels really nice. Like it went from this very like fearful, like, not sure I don't know like what if what if like the past and this and then it's like okay I'm just gonna do it and it's literally one of those moments where it's like taking a leap of faith it's like I'm gonna do it and then you look and you're like why didn't I do that sooner that's just what I'm getting wow Aries wow beautiful let's see spirit what messages do you have for Aries here please thank you we got mask, hiding true feelings, pretending and delude, gaslight and personify. So yeah, hiding true feelings is just really standing out for me. And I feel like it's out of fear again, but that looks like it changes drastically. Um, let's see. We got clock, needing time, cycles and takes time, time to heal, progressing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oops. Any other messages for Aries, please? Thank you. We got reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. So the learn from the past is really standing out for me. Can't help but see wedding rings at the bottom, but we'll see if it comes out. I mean, you already got that marriage card. Ooh, that one like flew. So we got coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition, tragic endings. I mean, that new beginnings, liberation, reborn, like that's all standing out for me. It's like exactly this is like the death card isn't here but i feel like it's like a death and rebirth so we got talking interested awaiting messages text calls email talking more and then we got grounding stability and security performance growth and endurance oh, they said one more thank you Healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. Yeah. So just like I said, there's healing going on here. I mean, we're all healing in some capacity. Um, 
Yeah. And I, I almost feel like this connection too, um, really, uh, how can I put this? So I, if this person is, is standing at a point in their healing, connecting with you and taking that leap of faith and realizing how good this actually is, like, like jolts them way ahead into the healing process. I don't know how else to do, like say that. Like, it's like if they're at, you know, uh, the 10th step on the ladder, they jump to the hundredth when it, and they're still healing to go. The ladder's not over, but it's like just a huge realization of like, wow, like look at this connection I have. It's, it's so powerful. It feels so good. It's so balanced. It, it's so loving. It's yeah. So again, Aries, you could feel like that's you towards them as well. Take it as it resonates. The spirit, what messages do you have for it? Oh, we got improving health. Yeah. So health is physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, right? I feel like there is a lot of improving going on here. Anything else, spirit, for Aries? Thank you. We got choose a new direction, which I feel like this person is. And then the sun is just waiting there for them. And then we got let go. So I really feel like that's letting go of fears of the past, of self-sabotage, negative thinking. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries, please? Thank you. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. We got hold your vision. A time to give rather than take. And a fiery climax approaches. Mm -hmm. There's that tower card. Oh, I was seeing look at the bigger picture at the bottom. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries, please? Okay, beautiful. I think this is just so perfect. So perfect. Um, because I feel like this person or you Aries could feel like you're kind of in this type of energy or you have been right. And from it just grows something so beautiful. Um, I can't remember who got this card yesterday. It was one of the air signs. So if you're dealing with an air sign, I, I think it was, was that a Libra or Aquarius? Um, I believe they got this card as well, but you know, don't quote me on that. But um, it's just, it's a beautiful card. Let's just see what it has to say. Um, okay, so regeneration. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Beautiful beautiful i love that i feel like that just summed up everything here oh and there's the oracle she's sort of in the trees there in between the trees i hope you can see that anyway okay let's get you some of these Okay, so these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. Take it as it resonates, but if something here does not resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we got K, Y, S, J, N, A, Z, or Z. And H. Okay, Aries, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.